Hi, my name is Kristen Polis, and I'm a product line manager for Belden. And today, I'm going to show you how to terminate our new connector, RevConnect, onto UTP cable. RevConnect is our reliable, easy, versatile solution for any RJ45 connection you need to make. This installation video will cover all the steps you need for any UTP termination, Cat5e, through 10GX jack, and even our 10GX field mountable plug. If you'd like any more information on RevConnect, please click on any of the links below. For this termination, you'll need your cable, and today we're using the Belden 10GXS cable, which is our small diameter category 6A. You'll also need your RevConnect module, which can either be a jack or a plug. And each module is going to come with what we call our core. That's a cable manager, small white piece here, and a cap. And finally, you need your RevConnect termination tool. This is the only tool you need for the entire termination. Any additional tools, such as a 110 punch down, RJ45 crimper, or flush cutters are not required. OK, step one, take this small insert tool out of the RevConnect handle and start prepping your cable. So it has this nice cable stripper which allows you to cut the cable. And the 10GXS cable actually has, uh, it's been called a floating shield or just a small tape barrier here. That should peel off very easily. And then from here, you can peel down your pairs. From here, you have this exposed cross web. So you're going to use the guillotine function in the same cable prep tool. Push it as far down as you can. What you want to do is cut off as much cross web to leave just a very small amount at the end of the cable. You're going to want to separate two pairs of pairs, brown, blue, and orange, green. And from there, you decide, are you doing a 568A termination or a 568B termination? Let's do B today. And for that, you'll need to pull up your brown and your orange pair. If you were doing A, you just swap out the orange and the green. So once you have your brown and your orange pair up, you're going to take your cable manager. Now your cable manager has some printing on the bottom of it. And what you're going to want to do is take your brown pair and slot it through the hole that is across from the brown box. The orange pair will then go through the hole that's across from the orange box. And as you're doing this, you're going to slide the cable manager down the cable, rotate it until the blue and the green pairs are slotted into their respective channels. So you'll see that there is a blue channel and then there's a channel that is orange green. Those cables will slide right into there. From here, the rest is very easy. You're going to take your pairs and do a simple untwisting. So you're not separating pairs here. All you need to do is untwist just enough until the white conductor resides on the outside and bend it down the cable management bar. So for those of you who are bonded pair users, this is a big time saver. In fact, bonded and non-bonded cable terminate in the same amount of time the same way. So you've aligned your pairs. You ensure that all of your white conductors are on the outside. And again, for a detailed look at this, please visit that website to, to get an installation guide to see this up close. But once you have your white conductors aligned on the outside, you'll take your cap. And your cap is outfitted with eight gold-plated contacts. These are going to pierce the insulation of the wire. So you snap on your cap here. And once you do that, you're ready to go into the tool. Now, this tool is outfitted with a functionality that we call the go-no functionality, meaning that you cannot terminate until you have properly situated this cable inside of the tool. So settle it in, and then one crimp of the handle is going to push those contacts into the insulation of the wire. And they're also going to cut the wires with one single crimp. Now you've made your RevConnect core, and from here you decide. RJ45 jack goes on very quickly, or you can snap that right off, put on your RJ45 plug. Now this plug is category 6A rated, rated for 100 watts power over ethernet, great for direct connections into wireless access points or camera. Okay, so as you can see, that's a very reliable, easy, and versatile termination. So please visit that website at info.belden.com slash revconnect for more information. Thank you for choosing Belden.